have a monkey in your pants? Alright then guys, welcome back to another ZX Spectrum gameplay. Some may say it's the most glorious gaming machine of all time. I will tend to agree. Now this is classic lemons, actually, on the good old ZX Spectrum. Being played at 128k plus 2B machine. And um, For those of you who don't know, it's the black model. The reason being it's being played on real hardware and it gives a better picture for video capture. So this was released in 1991 by Psygnosis, a DMA design game. It's an absolute, absolute classic, classic puzzle action game, will you call it? And please, if you've never ever played Lemons, please go check out one of my most recent videos, which is a Commodore Amiga gameplay um, of the game Lemons, and it shows you what it should look like, because this may not be a very accurate representation of the game due to the obviously limited hardware of the Spectrum. Now, you have to bear with me because there's a lot of loading and stopping of the tape in this game, so it's only been loading for about 20 seconds or so, maybe 40 seconds, and it comes to the screen with some music where you basically select your joystick option or your controller option, um, and I really no idea how you could play it with a joystick because there's about a million and ten different keys to be able to do different things. So um, I will see you in a second when more of the game has loaded. Right then guys, just to give you an idea of how this game actually loads, just had a maybe a three or four minute burst of loading and then it's basically saying that it's looking for level one. Um, and we'll press space. Oh and guess what? Some more loading. So I'll be back in a second. See, you don't get all this lovely, lovely loading with an emulator, do you? Oh, <sighs> back in a bit. Alright guys, that was maybe about another minute max of loading and as you can see this is Lemmings for the ZX Spectrum Level 1 Just Dig. Now obviously because of the graphical limitations or the power of the machine I should say that you've not got as many lemons on the screen as you would in maybe other versions so on this first level at least we've got 10 lemons and we only have to save one and we've got five minutes and you say that might be easy but to give you an idea we've got on the keyboard move up move down move left move right click on the lemons lock onto a lemon scroll the screen left scroll the screen right right scroll the panel left scroll the panel right turn off the music nuke the level pause the game highlight first ten icons oh my god this could get bloody complicated it's like a flight simulator so press space and we'll get crack with the knack and see what it's like there we go so, okay, hold on, scroll that way, scroll that way, that's not bad. It's decent music actually, it's a bit slow, but I've got a feeling, <laughs> as I say, I've got a feeling if I press pause, it's going to speed up. So you can tell this is really, really pushing the spectrum, but um, fair play to them to be honest with you, and, and actually even trying to bring this out on such a machine, um, it's a decent effort. So we'll and the music, before we actually get playing, is pretty decent. So um, let's go. So I can somehow lock on a lemon like that, and then I can make them dig if I want. We'll just increase the release rate. Honestly, I'm not going to explain how to play this game if you've never played lemons before. It's probably not the... The cursor has got some weird acceleration. Press along and it goes zoom. Oh, and you can't move the cursor diagonally. Well, you sort of can. When it wants. I'll move the cursor in the hope that the game might speed up a little. There we go. Now, you can switch the music off, but this is the second time. Oh, the lemon died. I never knew they could die by falling from that height. Oh my god. This is the, the second time I've loaded this level. The reason being is you can switch the music off. Only on the 128k version, obviously, it's got music. But what I found is you switch the music off and you've got absolutely no sound effects. So I thought, for the hell of it, we'll just keep the music on. Come on, lemons, get in your little hole, son. Nicely done. All lemons accounted for, you rescued eight. Did I kill two somehow? That level seemed no problem to you on that attempt. On to the next. 
and there you go, you get a little code to type in. And I've got a feeling I'm going to have to be loading another level. Multi-load games, the joys of the 8-bit cassette machines of the 80s. Press the space button, oh, and press space to continue looking for level 2. And uh, come back in a second guys and you'll see level 2. There you go guys, that was pretty quick, I don't even think that was a minute. So level 2, only floaters can survive this and uh, we'll see what the story is here. The story is, we've got the same music. Yeah, I need to move this, holy fudge, we're we'll getting a wee bit out of control already. So, I did select him, there was no sound effect actually when I made turned him into a floater so I wasn't sure if it worked. That's a bit uh, hard to see. Scroll along and you can see that they, they float down the little level. Have I made him a floater? I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, it says he's a floater when I was on him. So it's, it's good that you can at least lock on like that. See, I'm not following him, it's just doing it himself. Deselect him. Floater. Did I make him a floater? It should at least make a little ping sound actually when you do that, so you know if you've your selection has worked. I think some of the later levels might be actually quite hard for the simple reason that little precise movements of a mouse, like in the Mega version, are obviously not here. There you go, that's it. All those levels saved. And let's say the same music I think it was in the first level, but it's graphically hindered this game is on this machine. I honestly think it's pretty decent for the spectrum. Level 2 done, rescued all the fucking lemons. And guess what, I think we'll have to load another level, yes. Bloody hell that was quick. That sort of caught me at surprise there, that was hardly any time at all for this level. Level 3, let's go. See if we've got the same music, I think we will have. Yes, um, right, hold on. I'm glad you can at least press pause. Oh, you can't select your um, lemon skill when it's paused though, that's a bit cheeky. Oh, come on cursor, get up there. Jesus Christ, that was hard to get that cursor where I wanted it. Question is, is this still lemons? Is this still a fun game? Even being as it is. Hmm, I'm not so sure if it still retains the great fun gameplay of the original on the Meager the Atari ST but it, like I said give it its due due to the hardware it's um, it's a fairly decent effort to say the least and for that reason I'd say it is pretty impressive and I might make the machine crawl a halt now by releasing all those lemons at once but hey ho <laughs> it is what it is we're probably running at three frames per second now Move my cursor along here. Unlike him, um, I've done another gameplay recently in the Spectrum for SimCity, and I'd say that game still retained a lot of the original gameplay and it was extremely playable. Whereas this, it does retain the original aspects of the game, the original gameplay, etc. But I think it loses a lot of the fun due to the fact that it's quite slow. And then, um, like, like I said before, you can tell that it's really really pushing this machine to the max. But, like I said as well, it's a good effort to say the least. And no doubt, Mini Monkey, back in 1991, would have thought that this was the shit. Well, the music's doing something different for a change. There you go, that's another level complete. How to complete lemons on the ZX Spectrum. No, what was this, level 3? I don't think they could actually have done the graphics really any differently on this due to the small sprites. Obviously you can't have backgrounds in it that would be pushing the game to or the machine to its breaking limit and different colours as well with the known colour clash issues of the spectrum again. I, I just say it, it wouldn't work either. Come on lemons, get in sons. I'm gonna get to nuke them aren't I? I need to find the multiple caps and symbol shift is nuke. Alright, let's see if we can figure that out. Nuke the buggers, there we go. Oh no! That's what they'd say in the Mega version. And they would also go. Pop, 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 pop. 
Rescued 15. Oh yeah, baby. Was that level 3? Yes, because this is level 4. Let's go. Hey go guys, after another little burst of loading, we're back to level 4. I've got to save... <gasps> I've got to save them all this time. This might be hard. Um, right, what have I got? What have I got? What do these things do? Oh, the phone. I can't even scroll when it's paused. I do not, not know what that skill is down the bottom. Is it climb? Right. Dig that way then. Oh, and climb up there. I don't remember this level. Maybe it's just simply because it doesn't look like what I'm used to. Right, I'm going to scroll along this way with all these weird keyboard commands. Right. Oh, I might as well make them come out faster. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Did I get him? I got him. I don't think I got him. I don't think I'm going to successfully tag all these ones that are coming down at a rate of knots. And by that, I mean rate, rate of knots spectrum version. Spectrum terms. Go. Did I tag him? Oh, look. I'm getting them all. I'm getting them all. I'm getting them all. Bosh. One more. Come on, you little lemon. See if I can get you on the move. Oh, I got him. That's what you call skill. And for me as well, a big part of Lemons, of the original Lemon games, Lemons game I should say, on the Mega, which is primarily where I played it back in the day, is the music. The music on it is absolutely amazing. Obviously every level has got different tune. So it's, it's, it's a pity that um, this is restricted to one tune. Because I think especially due to the fact that it was loading every level maybe they could have loaded in additional music for the level as well but mm, maybe that would have been pushing it even more who knows level 5 onwards and upwards people there you go guys back again level 5 it says this time I need bashers oh now I know this level this is going to be quite hard actually on the spectrum I'd imagine like, I'd scroll my little thing along here, scroll this little thing along here. Oh Christ, that cursor's moving. Oh, I was going to say slow and then it fucking got excited and shot off. Because you need to bash through those bits at the far right of the screen. And uh, it's going to be pretty hard to do that, I think, with this. So actually, the controls aren't that bad once you get used to it. Not too bad at all. Well, with the exception of the cursor that's just got some mental acceleration problems. It's not bad if you just tap it, but right. How many have I got? I've got 11 diggers. Is that going to get me through here? Oh, you little fad, come back. Come on, come on, come on. Dig, dig, dig. Are we through? Are we through? I'm just going to dig some more just in case. That's that. Like that music that you're hearing is classic Lemons music, but like I said just previously, I, I wish that maybe could have put even like three different songs in, rotating through each of the levels. It would have added a bit of variation, a bit of variety to the music. Because like I say, if you switch the music off, there is absolutely zero sound effects. But my verdict on this game. Like I say, Mini Monkey back in 1991, Mini Monkey Spaz. Paul, who would have thought it was the shit? It is a decent effort, it is, it is, it is. And I think for the hardware limitations of the ZX Spectrum, it's it's fairly decent. Um, compared to the Amiga version, obviously it's 100 million miles apart, but it's, it's not too bad. The gameplay side of it is just a bit slow to say the least obviously because the lemons move so slow and whatnot. but um, I think we'll leave it there guys that was five levels of lemmings on the ZX Spectrum being played on 128k plus 2b released by Psygnosis in 1991 DMA design game absolute classic classic one of my favourite games back in the day maybe not on this version but um, give the Spectrum it's due I think it it, it gave it a pretty good punt at the game to say the least but as always guys please feel free to like comment subscribe and i will catch you next time do you have a monkey in your pants